Here. We are locating the fire extinguisher. <laughs> oh, that is strong, you guys. We're about lighting. to be smoked out here. Okay. <clears throat> but that's the, the fire alarm. Believe it or not, you want your cast iron pan to be really smoking hot. Okay. And it's not, and that's we not just it. because it's smoking hot. It really has to be. So to make a really good steak, I encourage you to go get a cast iron pan. Mm -hmm. Because if you use a nonstick skillet, it can't really so handle that high of a heat. This is the we oil had you had in here? Side. Yeah. The oil so you're just going to put a fire. little bit of olive oil. I mean, just a side. touch. Get a small now, fire. Now, is the olive okay. oil, so I always was told the olive oil can't take a lot of heat. So you don't uh, want to do like canola. I don't know. What you it can know. take pretty good heat. Are yeah. you okay? Yes. There's a 90% chance that uh, the uh, fire extinguisher. Great. Goes, no, you know. this tells me we don't have one. I mean, we've tested it through the years. Here's we're, the deal. At least it smells delicious. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It does yeah. smell amazing. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do here is you're going to, the salt. secret to a good steak, yeah, is sea mm. salt. And you want to make sure and set your steaks out an hour before you want to cook it. And you have to add salt all over it before you put it in the pan. But you don't put this salt on it and then put it in the fridge. Sorry, Dave. Yeah, don't worry. That, so, that smell will come out in It'll come months. out. It's okay. It's smoked out. So what smell we're going to do. Oil. Is we're going to take Save. the steak and we're going to put it oh, into the that. smoking mm -hmm. hot pan. We did it just okay. like that. Just now this is the secret. Yeah. You're going to turn it every minute. Oh, one minute. minute. Got to babysit it. And you Whoa. want your steak to be about a one to a one half inch thick. Mm -hmm. You like it? And then you also. This is a big tip here, guys. You want to make sure that you're using the yeah. cast iron. It is smoking hot. You've salted it. Don't add the pepper. Mm. Do not add rubs when you okay. do it this method because you're just going to burn the rub to the bottom of the pan. Uh -huh. oh. It doesn't work like a barbecue. If you're going to so make gravy, no. baby, later. Every, every minute or <laughs> so we're flipping. Yeah, so watch this. So now That's you're going to flip it. See that? It's brown oh, all yeah. over it. That does look nice, though. Yeah. Now what you're going to do, let's mm -hmm. imagine I've done this three other times. Okay. So you see these in the cooking shows. I'm going to take it off the screaming hot heat. I'm going to add two to three mm. tablespoons of butter. Yeah. Butter goes like on that. Everything. Butter goes on everything. At, this is garlic. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm adding garlic. Oh, this yeah. is, there we go. That's what we did here. And nice. now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add fresh rosemary. Yep. Just like this. Now, in the fancy restaurants, imagine we've done this on both sides for about four minutes. You know, that would be, what, four flips. You're going to take your butter and you're going to baste your steak. <laughs> also known as liquid heaven. Liquid yeah. heaven for the next two to three minutes until you reach your desired temperature. I like mine medium rare. Some people like it. It's just all dependent on how you like it. Make sure you use a meat thermometer if you're picky or your guests are picky. And boom, that is the perfect skillet steak, and you guys seem to be eating it just fine. And then, re and then return the batteries to the smoke alarm. Well, yes. Yeah. Do we have one? I mean, it really never went off, so it's okay. <laughs> We're going to get a new building next year. Stop. It's all good. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay.